Hey guys, this is a video. Um, I, you know, I do leather crafting, and I've been to a couple shows. I sell in a couple stores, boutiques, uh, carry my stuff. And <clears throat> I wanted to post this video for a while. It's it's basically a, a top five must-have tech uh, for small business owners, for crafters, for um, artists. You know, even if you're interior design, if you're a photographer. Um, or even even you know direct sales like uh, Pampered Chef or uh, you know Mary Kay or whatever whatever you know some place where you collect the money often and you have a product to sell or a service to sell even so I just want to kind of go over my top five uh, small business craft uh, must have that are tech based so the first one is a smartphone and a tablet oh and you know some of these are pretty self-explanatory but it's just something people haven't thought of and I mean, when I go to craft shows there's a lot of people or you know flea markets or whatever there's a lot of people who don't I guess have these or I don't just haven't thought it through as I've talked with people and so that's kind of the idea is to kind of review these and kind of give some tips and ideas on how to use them so the first one is a smartphone or a tablet uh, now most people have smartphones uh, although Having said that, um, there's a fair amount of people I, I meet who don't, and and usually it's a little bit older generation, I guess, who don't, and that's probably because of the whole technology piece. But um, having said that, you know, my mother-in-law is uh, probably in her 60s, and she just got an iPhone 5, and she's loving it. And, and there's a learning curve to it, but yeah. Anyway, so a smartphone and a tablet, and I will explain to you really quick why. Um, this is a, a one of the top five business tools. There are so many apps available to help you with your business. Um, the three I use the most often, and I, which I'll go over actually, uh, is the navigation apps. If you're going to a show, you're going to a meeting, um, you're going to an event, and you don't know the way, um, most iPhone, Android phones um, have a navigation app built in, and if you're lost, even if you think you know the way, you get lost, you can pull up the navigation app and it will help you get there and not be late. The thing is there's other apps, there's finance apps that help you track money, which I'll go over as one of the tips. And the other app, which I'll get to as another point, is uh, money collection. And there are apps that will help you run credit cards. Which then goes to my point number two of must have is a square or a PayPal reader. And I think um, Intuit also makes a reader, and there might be a couple other companies by the time you watch this video. But as of now, these two are the major, uh, PayPal and Square are the major credit card readers in the market that are pretty well known, reputable, and it won't, it won't freak people out when you pull it out to use it. Um, and so basically, let me just explain, if you haven't heard of these, uh, if you have your smartphone, the way these are designed is they clip into your headphone jack and then you can take a card, let me grab a card really quick of some sort. Anyway, you take a, you take a card and it becomes a swiper, right? And you swipe the card through. Same thing with the square, the square um, reader. It has a little slot right there that you, that you, that you slide the card into. Um, so both of them have a kind of design the same way. And the, what I've noticed is a lot of people at shows, and even if you're, you know, if you're someone who's mobile, has a mobile business, let's say you're a photographer or an interior designer, and you want to take payments, and a lot of people at the time don't have cash with them or they don't have a check with them, um, you know, the ability to take credit cards is is almost indispensable nowadays because... Uh, part of the reason is the economy is a little rough, and so more people are putting stuff on credit. Uh, it's just one of those things. And so you want the ability to take credit cards. And some people show up at a show, at a craft show or, a, or an event, and they are not prepared by having cash with them, but they might see a product and really want one. So, you know, if you have these, these are free, you know. I mean, there's some websites you can, I guess, order them for $10 and get a credit back or whatever. But if you go directly to PayPal and directly to Square.com, 
uh, I think they call it a register now. It's quite a register. Anyway, if you go directly to their websites, you can order one for free and it gets to you in like a week. And you set up an account and you can start taking money. Uh, they do have, usually it's a, I'm rounding up, it's about 3%. I think it's like 2.9, 2.8, depending on. Um, but I would just estimate about 3% that they take from each sale. But um, really, if it's losing 3% or not making the sale, to me, um, you know, these are worth it. Especially since they don't cost any money. And basically on your smartphone or on a tablet, you know, you just pull up the app. Let me see if I can get this for you. And you plug this in. It registers that you have the reader there. And you can do itemized. If you sell something routinely, you can have itemized um, already. So this is a $13 bracelet, $20 bracelet in your library. Or you can manually uh, punch in the numbers. And then you swipe the card. It gives a spot for the customer to sign. So this is on my tablet right now. Um, but, you know, <clears throat> if you don't have a tablet, the smartphone, which is my point number one, is... You, uh, most people just have your smartphone. I keep uh, the the Square Reader and the PayPal um, in this little case in my like money collection, my change bag, whatever that I have on me, and it allows you to make the sale. So that is, and I'm surprised how many people do not have these at the markets I go to. I have a friend who owns a boutique, and instead of a, a typical credit card processor. This is all she uses. She has a square and, a, and an iPad, a large iPad. And in the boutique, she takes cash and checks, whatever. But when someone wants to use a credit card, she just pulls out her iPad. It's sitting on the counter. And, you know, you're, you're good to go. All right, point three must-haves. Part of the tablet, phone, you know, uh, combination is... A finance app. So I will bring up a fina my finance app. It is the one I use is called Expense Manager, and it's right here. And when you bring it up, it it brings up the numbers for you. You can add a new expense, and basically it keeps running total of your balances and how much you did that month or that week. Um, but there are other apps out there that are available for iPhone, Android, and you know, it's really important as a small business owner to keep track of that and it's something that I, when I first started I wasn't doing very well when you when you have an app with you so on your phone for example you become a lot better at tracking you know before I had a spreadsheet on a computer and you know you could save receipts and go back and enter them in but um, it really uh, you know I wasn't keeping up with that and what I've found is now with the finance apps oh just to, just to clarify this expense manager app it syncs to um, both your phone and the tablet and I think that quite a few apps do that so th that's really nice because when I pull up if I enter something on my phone it will sync and show up on my tablet if I enter something on my tablet I can sync it um, it syncs to like a Dropbox or a Google Drive um, and it will show up on the phone so I always have up to date running of what I sold that week or what I spent uh, that week um, so yeah but I think that there's a fair amount of apps out there so I would research, read the reviews uh, I chose this expense manager app uh, it's on Android, I don't know if it's on uh, iPhone but yeah, it's really important to keep track of your money and um, one of the things that it allows you to do it instantaneously. You make a purchase at your wholesale you know, store or whatever, you can enter it right there right on the spot. This is your expense. You know? Or if you make a sale at, at, the end of a, at the end of the day, you can go back and enter it into your tablet and you know, it's, it's synced to both places and um, 
you, you know, this the Experience Manager app creates a backup. So if you ever lose your tablet or your phone, um, since it syncs with Google Drive or Dropbox, and there's a couple other things it syncs with also. I just use Dropbox and Google Drive more. Um, it will sync. So even if you lose these things, you can always pull it back up. Or if your tablet crashes or your phone crashes, you can install the software again. And since it's stored on cloud, it will, it will resync. I don't use the credit card and checking functionality on the apps. Um, I kind of purposefully chose an app that didn't ask for that. Uh, it, it might have a spot for you to enter it, but I don't like to enter my credit card information or my checking card information um, into the app to kind of track how I'm doing. Um, I just don't trust it enough right now. <laughs> so, um, and at some point, I know there's apps that do that, that you can you can enter your checking account balance and when you open the app up, it'll, it brings up the balance to your checking account. And um, that's fine if, if that works for you, you know, go for it. Um, but I chose Expense Manager because it was very simple, you know, it has a spot for mileage. I should pull that back up. It has a spot for mileage, um, for your expenses, for your uh, income, and then you can look at a kind of activity by month. And it shows you in green. Let me show you. Let me see if I can show you. Right, it shows you your losses and your gains. And you can, you know, it really set up multiple ways to view it. You can view monthly, weekly, daily, year to date, all that kind of stuff. So, guys, um, you know, that is just. a useful tool to have and uh, just to clarify these numbers aren't, aren't real I just kind of entered something in you can have multiple databases uh, so if you have two or three businesses at least on this app you can have one that's called a leather business you can have one called photography or whatever and it will keep a different accounts for you so just to clarify those numbers are I just entered some random stuff in there just for the video example okay so the next uh, must-have app or must-have tools for small business is um, also related to the phone or, or a tablet is mobile banking and if you're someone who takes a lot of checks this becomes makes life so much easier so I use B of A I'll just pull it up really quick so I use B of A and basically I think B of A, Bank of America, uh, Chase there's a couple other banks um, and credit unions now that allow you to, you know, enter information in, and not just enter information in, but you can check your balances and you know your account information. But they take mobile uh, deposits. So if you have a check and you have your phone, using the camera on your phone or your tablet, you can take a picture of the check. Uh, the front and the back, and each bank has their kind of own requirements of what they want you to write on the endorsement line or whatever. So check with your bank on how to do that. But um, you know, if your bank has it, you should take advantage of it. Um, it makes, you know, it saves on mileage, it saves on time, because you're not running to the bank um, to make the deposit. And you know, there are deposit limits. Um, I think some have a thousand dollars, some have five thousand. Eight thousand, ten thousand dollar limits per month. So, I mean, I'm talking small business. I, I think most banks um, have like a five to eight thousand dollar, ten thousand dollar deposit limit per month. So, I mean, it may if you if you do large sales, you might you know max out on your on your limit. But you know, for the moment, um, when you're doing the deposit, then you don't have to worry about running to the bank for the small checks that you know you you don't want to save up, um, or you just want to keep any you know long period of time because you know you don't know what the, the customer is wondering why you haven't cashed a check yet. So uh, yeah, the the fine the mobile banking apps that are available on iPhone and Android. The last thing I want to touch on was uh, photography. So I have my little point and shoot camera here, but I also have a digital SLR. And you know one of the things that if you're doing crafts 
or you're doing products that is often overlooked is when you have a website going is that you know you can have you need to have and present your products um, in, a, in, a, in a nice fashion and one of the things that's often overlooked is uh, photography and part of that has to do with the camera uh, but part of it has to do with skill and you know I'm not endorsing any camera or any you know right now um, you know the, the point of this is just to emphasize you know photography and video of your product and if you're selling a house for example if you're a real estate agent to have pictures of the house um, you know, it's, it's imperative. If you say, well, I'm selling this house for blah, 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 and then someone wants to see the house, you want to be able to see that um, in a nice fashion. And kind of touching back on my point number one of having a smartphone or a tablet is, you know, I watched a video on the 30-second sales pitch, right? So basically, uh, you need to be able to sell your product in 30 seconds uh, because that's what people have the attention for if you meet someone on the street or if you meet someone in the elevator 30 seconds to kind of say what you do and and do your sales pitch I guess would be the thing um, you know if you can pull up a picture or two or a gallery of what you make and say hey this is what I do um, that has more emphasis and will be more more easily remembered for most people um, compared to you know your sales pitch which they may or may not hear but visual emphasis is really important. And so, you know, when you do that, you want to make sure that you have focused on lighting and, and you know, image detail and just presenting your product, whatever it is, in, in a nice way. And so I want to emphasize, if, if you are having difficulty with your photography, I recommend you, know, you look up some, some videos, look up some articles, maybe even take a photography class because you know the the image matters I, I looked up at a Kickstarter program uh, the other day and there were two so I do leather crafting I was just looking at what leather there were two leather companies you know starting up and one had a really nice presentation they had really you know, clear pictures of their product and they had this awesome video that was done with some music to it and you know, it was already fully funded yeah and you know people had given money to it and funded the project. There was another another company, and he had one or two pictures. And to, to be honest, his pictures, I couldn't tell what it was by looking at it. You know, I think it was a garment of some sort, but the pictures were so blurry and out of focus that um, anyway, the guy didn't uh, that that company didn't end up getting any funding. I don't think. So I want to emphasize the importance of. You know, doing that. So, for example, this is my tablet. I carry it often, not as often as I do my phone. Right, my phone is always with me. So, if you're gonna choose to buy, spend money on either a tablet or a phone, um, most people have their phone, and I would recommend getting a phone with a large screen, especially if you're selling handmade items um, where detail is important, because the larger screen, the easier people have to see it. But for the moment, you know. I'll show you. So this is my tablet, which I carry with me almost, almost all the time. If I had to take my backpack with me, and in there I have my, I have a gallery dedicated to my leather items that I've been making. And so you can scroll through. And so in you know in 15, 30 seconds, I can be like, oh, this is the kind of stuff I make. And there's no need to kind of explain the design, to to explain the different products I carry. Um, you can see, you know, I do bracelets, wallets, you know, tablet covers, whatever. And so, you know, there's really no need to, to go through a whole sales pitch because this has more visual impact than kind of saying, well, I do leather work, that's blah, blah, blah. So, anyway, guys, um, the, but the photography piece of it, you know, is really important because you know, if you don't have really nice, clean pictures and that shows detail off and shows what you're making, then, you know, it's, it's, <laughs> don't pull out a tablet and show a bunch of you know, crappy pictures. <laughs> so, um, the photography piece, you know, lighting is important. 
uh, when you're doing a video for YouTube also. And I'll be honest, I, my video skills are not the best. Uh, I'm more of a photographer. Uh, I have professional photography equipment. And so, um, other, th other than this thing. And so, you know, my videos on YouTube are, are, are probably average. But um, the thing in my videos is it requires people's attention for a little bit longer because you're making a sales pitch still. On, on you know, something with a tablet, you can just show it and they can just scroll through it on their own. You know, there's no um, need for you to say anything. Anyway, guys, so those are my top five must-have. The critical piece, of course, of, of the top five must-have tech is, um, as you notice, most of it centers around the phone and what you can do with your phone or tablet. Uh, the finance app, the, the credit card collection, um, you know, the mobile banking, those things are just make life easier. And you know, if you're not doing it, I, I would suggest you try to get into it and just see how you feel. If you're not comfortable, you can always go back to what you were doing. But since I've started collecting credit cards and doing mobile deposits, you know, I've had more time to focus on either making something or you know, going out and selling uh, makes life so much easier. All right, guys. Uh, hopefully that helped um, some people. I'm, I'm sure some of it you guys already knew about, but if not, um, there you go. All right, have a good one. Bye.